Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that's something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to create this design right here. It is a rainbow splatter design and it has the word equality in it. I'm showing it here on a black shirt. It would also look really good on a white shirt, so it's pretty versatile. And of course, you can change out the word in the middle for any word you want, so it is a good scalable design. So if you would like to see how to make this design, go ahead and stick around. So as always, we're starting with our blank backdrop. It is 4500 by 5400 pixels. And I am going to be starting with black. Um, so I'm gonna come up to my corner, left-hand corner, and select the black background color. Okay, now for this design, I am going to be uh, creating a bunch of different color splatters. So I wanna create a rainbow effect using a splatter pattern. So something like splattered paint and then put some words over it. So really easy to do. You're gonna come up to the left-hand corner, select elements. And then up here, you are just gonna go ahead and do a search for splatter. You can say paint splatter or anything else. I'm just gonna put splatter. And what it will give you is a lot of different splatter patterns. Now you can go ahead and search by graphics. That'll make it a little bit easier. And then what I'm looking for is splatter patterns that kind of, um, look like they're dripping a little bit, things where I can change the colors. So something like, oh, I really like this one here. Okay, so we can see this. I'm gonna have to change the color right here. So let me just go ahead and make that red right now. That's got a nice drippy look right there. So I like that already. It will give me some magic recommendations. So I can go ahead and check these out and see if I like any of these. Not quite as much. That one's got maybe a little potential in this one. Let me go ahead and just select orange for now. I'm gonna pick a bunch of different potentials and then once I get the ones that I know I like, I can search for that. Oh no, I don't like those. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep scrolling down. And what I want, because I'm doing a rainbow, is I'm going to want to get at least six of these so I can have one in each color. So that is my goal, is to find six. If I can't find six, I can always repeat them. Um, you can make them look a little bit different by just changing the size or by flipping them so, um, so that they mirror each other. Um, and that'll just give you a little bit different of a look if you can't find enough ones that you like. Now I know there are other splatter ones. Let me try paint splatter and see if that works better. Okay, so I'm a paint splatter. Some of these, I would kind of like it to look like it is dripping a little bit more. That one I might use. Okay, so let's try this one here. And what I can do is I can kind of rotate it. And of course I can resize these to make them look however I want. Once I'm done, I'm gonna keep going. That's the one I already have. This one's very similar, but I can do that again if I want to. Just put a little green right there, green. And so again, you can take your time. Can I change the color of this one? Yes, I can. It's important I be able to change the colors. Oop, there it is, blue. Something like that. All right, I just need one more that looks decent here. Ooh, okay, can I change the color of this one? Yes, I can, purple. I like this one because it kind of looks like a little heart. Is there any other ones like that? Anything else that I like better? Again, I'm going with whatever I think is gonna look the best here. I like 
this one here actually that might look better than just that yellow one because this one comes down a little bit so i can always overlap them too so another way i can do this would just be like that that way i can keep the spray and so you can see there's different ways i can go about layering these two to get a good look um like this one this one if i do that green color there it's got a little bit more spray around the outside and so you can just sort of see how i can play with these okay for the sake of time we'll call this good sometimes i'll spend a lot longer you know really picking out which things i like to really give it the the best possible look but for now we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll call this pretty good i wish that blue one maybe was a little bit bigger but that's okay so it's going to be oriented something like this to make this easy for me so i can kind of line these up a little bit better i'm going to go ahead and come over to file and if i click here and i put show rulers and guides it's going to give me these these rulers on the sides and on the top here and what i can do is i can pull down some guidelines just like that and that is going to help me to make sure that i get all of these sort of lined up the way that i want so that they're all around around the same size and i can also do a center line too if i want to help me out there with a nice center line okay so now i've got some guidelines to work with so starting with my red one i'm going to bring it all the way over to the side i'd like to make it big enough so that the main splatter area takes up most of this guideline space here so there's my red i'm going to go ahead now and move on to the orange same basic idea so now, right now, I've got the orange on top of the red. If I wanted to, for example, do the orange in the background, I can always put send to back. And now the red is going to overlap the orange. So we can play with these two, see how we like them. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take this yellow, which it looks like I have gone ahead and layered that one already, but I can bring this yellow. I am gonna want this one to be on top a little bit. And I can bring this other yellow. Oops. Nope, I can't get to the other yellow right now. Hold on. Send T back. Here's my other yellow. And I can bring that yellow splatter up a little bit more. And that's going to give it a cool splatter look like that. And the next one, I'm going to come with my green, which I also layered. So that I can send it back. I can get this one up. Like that. So far, so good. The blue one I definitely want to be on top because it's pretty small. So I need to, you know, keep as much size as I can with this blue one. And then I've got my purple one right here, which is really cool because it kind of looks like a heart but I don't want to lose my blue, so I still might send that one to the back. Okay. Oops. Let me play with that, and then I can take this one. Maybe something like that. Maybe I want this to go up a little higher. Okay, see. Perfect. So now I've got them across. They're roughly the same size. Not, you know, you don't want them to be perfect, but roughly the same size i can tell by my guidelines they're roughly level and from my center line i can see that i've got three of them on one side of the center line and three on the other so i've got a good layout here in terms of the size that i want and the placement that i want and you know proportionally how i would like it now that i have that the way i want i can move these guidelines out of the way i don't need to keep them here any longer so i can just drag them right off the page if i want to just get rid of the guidelines that way and now that I have my splatter the way I want it, if I want to make sure I don't accidentally move anything, I can go ahead and group these all together by just dragging across all of them. And then I can come to my right hand corner, hit group and give it one second. And now this is just going to be one big grouped image, which means I can now 
move it around as one group, I can resize it as one group, etc. So if I wanted it to be a little bit higher on the page or a little bit lower, or if I want it to be a little smaller, a little bigger, I can now play with it that way. I could also angle it as one too. So now that I have this all grouped, if I wanted to take this whole thing, let's say and angle it, I could do it that way too. I don't want to do that because these are supposed to look like drips and so they need to go straight down, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it level. But just so you can see, once it's all grouped, you have a lot of freedom to sort of play with it without losing any of your proportions. And so now that I have that, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, I'm going to put a word in it. Now I can also change these colors too, because I think this, I think the green I would really like to be maybe a little darker and the orange I would like to be a little bit brighter. So I'll tell you what, before I put the word in there, I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup real quick and make sure that these colors are exactly as I want them. So starting with this green here, I do want it to be a little bit deeper of a green. So I'm gonna slide this over. So I get a little bit of a deeper green there. I like that. So now that's a lot more green. It's a lot brighter. I can hit this change all to make sure that I get this lighter green pattern here to be the same. And so now I'm really liking the green. I did want to change the orange one here. I want that to be a little bit brighter orange. So again, I can just select what I want to make that nice and bright orange. Might bring it a little bit more into the yellow. Mm. Hard to say, I kind of like it there. It's good, it's bright. I can do the same thing here with the yellow, make sure that that yellow is good and bright. And so again, I can drag that down so it's really nice and yellow. Make sure that's really nice and bright. Make sure I change both of those colors. And so I'm really liking the way this is looking. The blue looks a little bit more on the teal side. I can bring it a little bit deeper into the blues. And again, a little bit brighter if I like. So something like that. Now I'm, now I'm liking the colors a little bit more. They're a little bit more bright. They're gonna stand out a little better. So now I'm gonna go ahead and group it together again. There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some text over the top of it. So now that it's here, I'm just gonna hit T on my keyboard. It's gonna pull up a text box, which I can drag right over the top. And for this design, I'm just gonna put the word equality and I do want it to be in all caps. So I'm just gonna hit E, quality. Okay. And I'm gonna make that a lot bigger here so you can see it. Perfect. Good. Now, because I want it to stand out, assuming I'm going to put this on a black shirt, I, I'm gonna want this to actually be black text. So I'm gonna come up here, change that text color to black. And now what I need is for it to be a little bit thicker, bolder. I need it to pop out a little bit more. So right now, you know, I'm not, I'm not loving the, the text. So different ways I can go with this. I can go ahead and just kind of search through, play with different ones I want. I have this one here that was recently used that I like because it's, it's bold and it's got a little bit of a flare to it. So that actually looks kind of nice. And what I can do is resize it so that it takes up a good amount. Right there, so now it is centered. So there we go. So now it says equality. Now, um, I could if I wanted it to pop even more, do something like um, either a, a shadow on it. I could make the shadow, oops. Sold something, yay. I could make the shadow um, white like that. So it gives it just a little bit more of a pop and I do kind of like that. So now I've got my cool equality design. Now this would look really good um, for um, LGBTQ Awareness Month or just any kind of pride thing. So you can go ahead and market it that way. It doesn't necessarily have to be pride, but the rainbow definitely makes it seem that way. And it's just, it's a really cool design. Uh, it can also go really well on a white shirt too. So because I use these bright colors, it's gonna look really good on black, but it's also going to look 
really good on white. So you can see right there how it would look on white. And I actually really like that I put that little white pop in there too, because I think that really makes that stand out. So really fun, really cool design that you can do with the paint splatter. And of course, you can scale this. So once you have your splatter the way you want it, you can go ahead and change out the words to say virtually whatever you want. Just make sure you do a trademark check first to make sure that you're not using words that are in fact trademarked. So that is it for this video. I hope you found it useful and I hope you can uh, come up with some great creative splatter type designs. Um, if there's any other types of videos that you would like to see, you can always go ahead and drop them in the comment section below and I'll try to go ahead and make that video for you. And if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comment section below. I will try to get back to them as quickly as I can. Um, and so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.